Two children hide inside a closet as burglars kick in the back door of their home. And what they did next sends a message to all parents. As investigators search for two criminals who ransacked the Hayes County home, Shannon Wolfson has more on what saved the day. Honking, 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 honking. Monday afternoon, a honking car horn interrupted this quiet neighborhood. We heard that. And we thought, well, that's kind of unusual out here to hear that kind of honking. It's scary. It's scary. The honking came from Angela Bacon's neighbor, who was doing his best to scare away two burglars he knew were inside the house next door. Brave. Brave, but that's how we are in this neighborhood. We watch out for each other. What Angela didn't know until later was that her neighbor's two children, just 9 and 13 years old, were also inside that home, hiding in a closet. They called 911 and used a cell phone to text their mom. She called that neighbor for help. Those kids are very good. They did a good job. I'm proud of them. <laughs> so I hope my kids would do the same. The children, a brother and sister, hid when they heard the burglars kick in the back door. The neighbor's honking horn scared the criminals away before deputies got there. It is scary, particularly given the fact that we're so isolated out here. I feel like I need to watch who's coming down these roads. The Falconwood neighborhood does have a good watch group. We're very much watching out for our neighbors. There'll be even more eyes watching now. Hayes County investigators do not have a good description of the vehicle or the suspects. They are looking for a gray van, possibly a Chevy Astro van. It did not have a back license plate, according to the neighbor at the scene. The suspects, they can only say, are a man and woman, either white or Hispanic. We're live in the studio tonight. Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News.